please ignore my lace in this video and in the other videos around this time because it was very much lacing and I didn't know it was. So just mind your business and watch the story. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Leah Lord, and I'm back at it again with another video. If you are new to my channel, hey girl, hey, my name is Leah. I make videos, I do story times, I do hauls, I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So it's like for the kids, you know the vibes. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey friend, how are you? I hope you're doing wonderful, fabulous, beautiful, amazing. So you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is yet another day and it is yet another Vlogmas day. To be honest with y'all, I don't know what day it is because a bulk record so I'm not keeping track but you know it's another vlogmas day and it is also a story time day so you know you guys are super 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 excited to be here and to watch me tell y'all how people got me up okay um <laughs> uh before we get started I want to tell you guys about a company that I have been recently using um and this is a company for eyewear it is called seek and I like Seek because they have affordable eyeglasses and sunglasses for a good price. If you guys didn't know, I do wear eyeglasses. Um, I haven't worn them on YouTube because number one, my frames are super, super scratched up and I also need an updated prescription. So I don't really wear them when I'm on YouTube, but I do have glasses that I wear. Another thing is that I am farsighted so I can see super far, but when it comes to being up close, I can't see anything which of course is a problem when you're a content creator i'm on a computer all the time editing watching youtube videos getting my life together responding to emails i need to be able to say and i usually cannot so thanks to seek i now have four new pairs of glasses but today i'm only going to show you three of the glasses that i have these are the first pair of glasses that i have and they are called freya i really love the color of these frames it's really cute rose gold color I think the size is perfect for my liking. Now, these are called Reese, and I really, really like these because not only are they black, so they're simplistic, and I can use them with every different outfit I have, also for work days, just in general, but I do feel like this gives me Velma from Scooby-Doo, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> jinkies. <laughs> And this last pair is called Elodie. I really love Elodie because they're a lot bigger than the other two frames I just showed you guys. But they look almost exactly like the last pair of glasses that I have. So if you want to check out Seek and get you a nice pair of frames or sunglasses, make sure you use my promo code across the screen right here, baby. Okay, and all the information will be down in the description box below. Act the clown, act the clown, act the fool. Shake it up, shake it down. Act the clown. All right, so... So today's video is going to be the story time of the time this girl balded my eyelashes and it is going to be an eyelash tech horror story. So let's just get started. This happened back in August of this year. So it's a relatively new story. Um, as you guys know, if you watched my girlship horror story story, um, back in July, I went to Virginia. And when I went to Virginia, I kind of got like a whole maintenance thing done. So I got my feet done, my nails done, everything, including my lashes. Now, I'm a fairly new person to getting individual sets of lashes. Before, I used to just wear strips. And before then, I didn't even wear lashes at all. I was just walking around looking like a naked mole rat girl. It was very much giving bald eagle on my lashes you know so i started getting my lashes done and i started getting an individual set now my normal girl actually was based in harlem so i used to have to travel about an hour and a half from brooklyn to get to harlem to get my lashes done and i know that may sound absurd you might be like well girl can nobody else in brooklyn do your lashes but the thing is, I'm very particular when it comes to my services. Like, I like what I like, when I like it, how I like it, and yeah, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Um, To be fair, I do get a lot of things done very frequently. So I get my nails done, my feet done, my lashes and stuff like that. When it comes to beauty, maintenance, and upkeep, I'm very serious about it. So I frequently do these types of things because it what's makes it's what makes me feel like the best. I think when I don't have these things done, I kind of, I get a little bit down because I don't feel like myself, you know? So I say all of this to say that my last person, the last time I saw her in July, before I went to Virginia for this girl's trip, she told me that she didn't know when she would see me again because she was going on a trip to Africa and she didn't know when she would be back. So I'm like, well damn bitch, who told you you could do that? Because, you know, like where am I supposed to get my eyelashes done now? Who, who is gonna do me like, like you do it? Ho, ho, ho. So I was like, all right, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but 
because like my lashes falling off is so far away i didn't really think about it until like the time was approaching right so um i want to say like three weeks later my eyelashes obviously started falling off and now it's very much giving cynthia the doll it's very much giving yizma it's very much giving pull the lever crunk you know what i'm saying i got three lashes on each eye and it's looking a little bit nuts okay so i'm like all right well damn i got two options the first option is to find someone to get my lashes done, some preferably in Brooklyn, so I don't have to travel so far. And then the second one is to rock out with my knocks out, not get lashes, or alternative option, just rock strip lashes. Now I know some of y'all might be thinking, well, why do you even need to wear lashes in the first place? You don't really go nowhere, sis. And you're right, I don't. I stay at home. I like my home, period. But um, when I film my videos, I like to be glam, I like to be feminine, I like to be cute because it's what makes me feel most confident when I'm in front of the camera. So I started getting my lashes done and I started to like keep up with the maintenance of the individuals and so I wanted to keep it that way. I don't really like strip lashes because I it just leaves the glue on your eyes for like three, four days. If you wear lashes, you know what I'm talking about. It's damn near impossible to take lash glue off your eyes. Like it's the most annoying thing ever so I was like damn well what am I gonna do the more I thought about it the more I realized okay you're gonna actually have to go find somebody to get your individuals done I was scared and the reason I was scared is because I've heard too many horror stories about people doing bad job people having all types of medical issues because their lash tech did not clean their utensils properly so now they have like an issue with their cornea or something like that I didn't want a bitch to blind me off of some lashes girl that's so unnecessary like why like why that's so unnecessary y'all just the other day i saw on instagram someone had posted um something from someone else and she, the girl was basically saying how she went to get her eyelashes done she's an eyelash tech herself but she went to get a service done by someone else and basically what happened was the girl didn't clean the utensils she used to apply the individuals so a few hours after she got her set done her eyes were really irritating her like it was really itchy and it felt like it was burning it was a little irritable she thought maybe it was no big deal maybe it was adhesive or something like that literally a few hours later her eyes were red like bloodshot red and then after that she went to the er because she was like yeah i don't think this is normal especially considering she's a lash tech herself bro long story short the next day when after they did her lab results and everything like that they told the girl that she had an eye infection by the time she came back to the hospital her eyes were swollen shut the girl was temporarily blind even after her eyes were open her corneas were super messed up like they were infected and it was spreading to her whole like eye and stuff like that and i'm like uh-uh uh-uh that a girl trying to blind us <laughs> no so i was scared but i was like damn you gonna have to like chuck it up and just just do it so the thing i thought to do initially was to go on instagram and look up like hashtag brooklyn lash tech um hashtag new york city lash tech and stuff like that because instagram seems to be the place where it's easiest to find someone to provide a service for you especially when it comes to like nails and lashes and brows and stuff like that so i looked on instagram now i just told y'all that i'm very particular about what i like and how i like it when it comes to my services now i'm gonna say something and this is my personal opinion and uh don't find me on this one because i know how the girls like to tussle okay i do not like the lashes that look like you got a baby tarantula on your face you know what i'm saying your lashes is so thick i'm wondering how you open your eyes in the morning you know what i'm saying it looks like if you batch your eyelashes three times you could start a hurricane in the south it's very much giving hurricane irma you know what i'm saying hurricane sandy and i don't want that on my lashes i hate so those types of lashes i hate them so so much like if you like them that's good on you that's your personal opinion like i said it's just my opinion so don't beat me up for this but i don't like them on myself and i don't like them on anyone else so i was like frustrated while i was looking because i kept finding girls who only did lashes like that i think they call it like deluxe sets or um like glam mink sets or whatever the case is i just did not like it and i was getting pissed because i kept finding people who their entire instagram page would just be lashes like that so now i'm looking for an hour two hours a day and i'm not finding anybody okay at the time my boyfriend was like he, he knew that i was looking for lashes so he started like to help me look and stuff like that and he's like damn baby like i'm not finding anything so at this point i'm like damn i might have to just rock out with my knocks out and just get bald lashes right but i decided i'm gonna look one more day the day that i started looking i found this girl and this is the girl in question right 
So I found her and um, I saw her page and her page looked like she had really cute like classic sets. I'm gonna post a picture here of the types of lashes that I like. So her page looked like they had lashes like that, you know what I mean? It looked like really cute, really girly hybrid sets that didn't look like it was doing too much. I went on her website, I read her booking policy, I saw that she was not too far away in Brooklyn. I mean, it dead was on the other side of Brooklyn, but compared to Harlem, it wasn't that far. So I read her site, I looked at her prices, I thought that it was decent, it was acceptable, so I went ahead and I booked. Now, the day that I was supposed to go to this appointment, my appointment was 6 p.m. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. p.m. 6 p.m. and I, I'm, 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 oh, I need you Just, just remember that. Just, just remember that. So my appointment is at 6 p.m. and I call my Uber so that it could get there at 5:50. Even though she was in Brooklyn, she was like kind of on the other side of Brooklyn, so I had to call it so that I could get there at 5:50 at a decent time. I'm the type of person that I'm never gonna show up to none of my services late. I always show up at least five minutes early, just in case. Cause you never know what's gonna happen with Uber or MTA or anything like that. Accidents happen all the time, life happens. Sometimes you're just late, that's just the truth. However, I like to avoid it at any cost. So I always plan for like an extra boost of time, you know, just in case it doesn't happen. So I call my Uber so that it gets there at 5.50. I'm in the Uber and around, I wanna say like, I don't know the time, but I'm definitely gonna put the screenshot on the screen. Around like, let's say 5.47, I'm in the Uber and I get a text message. And I'm like, damn, 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 damn. Not, not you, not, not you. If you know, you know. There's a joke that goes around that says like, if you get a text message or a call from your, um, your, your tech or the person providing your service the day of your appointment, you're not getting that shit done. You might as well turn your ass around because you, you're not getting it done, okay? If they hit you with the, hey love, hey girl, sorry babe, you're not getting anything done. Pack it up and take your L. Okay. So now I'm like, oh shit, like she's gonna cancel on me. I open the message and she says, hey love, like I'm gonna be 15 minutes late. I had an appointment and it was running late. I'm so sorry about it. So I'm kind of irritated, but not really because it's just 15 minutes. Not only that, but I know life happens. I'm not gonna be pressed about it. You know what I mean? Either way, I have to get my lashes done. So what I'm gonna do, turn back around because you're 15 minutes late. That's absurd. So I was like, okay, cool, no problem. I'm on my way already. I'll just wait for you. So my Uber gets there, I get inside, and it's kind of like one of those salons where it's like multiple different things going on. So it's like waxes, lashes, hair, um, you know, all of it, the works. So I get inside and the only people that's in there is a nail tech and a girl, her client that she's doing her nails for. So I say hello, she's like, hey girl, how are you? Who are you here for? I tell her I'm here for the lash tech, who we are gonna name. Who are we, we're gonna name her, we're gonna name her Badu for Erica Badu cause the bitch is never on time, okay? So I was like, hey, I'm here for Badu. Like, I'm just gonna sit down. She was like, all right, no problem. Let me know if you need anything, like, cool. So I sit down and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. 6.15 comes, she ain't here. <laughs> She's not here. She's not here. She ain't here. So now I'm like, okay, like maybe, So 6.15 comes and I'm like, she's not here. Maybe she's running an extra five minutes late, no problem. So I'm sitting there, I'm waiting and I'm texting my boyfriend. Let me just say that at the time, before I left to come to this last appointment, my boyfriend was headed to the appointment to get on a flight to Atlanta, okay? Before I left to go to the appointment, he had gotten in a car to go to the airport to go to Atlanta. Keep that in mind. So I'm sitting there, I'm texting him or whatever. He's at the airport, he's about to get on his flight, no problem. He gets on his flight, now it's 6.40 and she's still not here. I'm like, okay, I, what's going on? So then she calls me, right? I get a call and I'm like, hello? She's like, hey girl, it's Badu, your lash tech. I'm so sorry, but the Uber driver took a longer route. So now I'm gonna be a little bit later. I'm so sorry about it. I didn't mean for this to happen. She's giving me this whole long spiel, but at the end of the day, I really don't care. And here's why I don't care. Because you knew that you had a service to complete. I don't give a damn. I don't give a flying f 
that you had an appointment before this because at the end of the day you knew that you had a service if you didn't know that you could make it to your service on time you should have pushed my shit back the day before or you should have never had that slot available in the first place take accountability for your actions don't blame this shit on the uber driver because you are already gonna be late to begin with bring your ass here okay so she's like um i'm so sorry do you want me to like um reschedule you for another day i don't want you waiting here for that long da 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 now i'm irritated because i'm like you want to reschedule me that's fine but at the end of the day i just paid 30 dollars to come here i'm gonna have to pay 30 dollars to go back here and then what i'm out 60 dollars in an hour of my time because you have no accountability absolutely not absolutely not santana where you at bring your ass here no no so i was like listen i already spent a bunch of money getting here on an uber i already wasted my time my phone is dying so i'm not comfortable getting into uber at this point anyway so she's like okay like i'll try to be there as fast as i can right so she's now like in the uber or wherever she is i think she was lying i really don't think this girl came from an appointment but i don't know her business so it is what it is so she's in the uber and she's getting to me and i'm texting my friends and i'm heated i'm pissed off i'm so irritated because i'm hungry i'm tired and like i said my phone is dying it's five no 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 it's 6 47 where you at ho? like what's going on so i'm texting my friends i'm mad i'm texting my boyfriend when i tell you my boyfriend landed in atlanta before this girl came in yeah that's how late she was so she shows up or whatever and she's like i'm so sorry about this like i'm going to um you know take some money off your appointment i'm also going to upgrade your lashes and then i'm going to remove the fee from the lash bath so i had to give a lash bath because i needed to get my um my old lashes taken off so she said she's gonna waive the fee and i can upgrade my lashes and get like a deluxe set or whatever i want now to be fair i really appreciate the fact that this girl was like really professional about it she knew that she was late and she knew that it was messed up so she did try to fix it by taking away some fees and also like reducing the price of my service i really appreciate that because it's the right thing to do so i get on the table she puts my phone on the charger and i'm getting my lashes done to be fair it was a really good vibe in there because the um nail tech was playing music she was playing caribbean music she was playing Nicki minaj like i was going off in my head which i was i was on that table you feel me like it, it i was impressed about the service itself so she gets done she shows me the um the lashes in the mirror and it's okay like it's not what I'm used to with my lash tech, but it's okay. It's a decent job. So I say thank you. I pay her. I get in an Uber and I go home. Now, a few weeks later, I want to say two weeks later, naturally the lashes start falling off, right? Because that's what they do. And I'm noticing that my natural eyelashes are much shorter than they were before I got these lashes done. And I'm like, okay, Leah, maybe you, maybe you bugging, right? Maybe, maybe you bugging because you never really had lashes to begin with. So, so maybe you're bugging but no i literally went back into my gallery and i looked at my pictures and i was like nah she dead bald in my shits like my lashes were visibly much shorter than when they were before i got my lashes done and mind you like i said i had been getting my lashes done for maybe about a few months now and this had never happened with my old lash tech so it was this time in particular that balded my shits now i don't know if it's an adhesive that she used or the glue or whatever it was but my lashes were visibly much much shorter when they got done and i'm gonna try to post a picture of like a before and after so you guys can see what i'm talking about so not only was this girl super super late but um she bolted my lashes even more like it's so funny because i was trying to avoid being a naked mole rat and i still ended up being one like life comes at you fast I don't know. I don't know. I, it, um, and I know some of you guys are going to ask. I did not hit her up. I didn't say anything about the lashes. Because at this point, I just had enough. Lashes grow back. It's just follicles. Like, it's fine. A little castor oil, a little um, vitamin E oil, and they will grow back. It's not a big deal. So, I didn't hit her up about it. I wasn't pressed. I didn't want no money back. Like, it is what it is at this point um also i noticed that i was still following her after the whole lash situation and i noticed that she posted on instagram story that she wasn't going to be doing lashes for like a while and if i'm correct to this day she's still not doing lashes so i don't know if she had like a mishap with another client i don't know if it's like a personal or professional business decision but she's not really doing lashes right now anyway so i don't know that's that baby mm -hmm. 
So that's the end of my story. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this story, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, and go to Gang 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 because you already watched this whole video. You might as well stick around. Make sure you watch all my previous Vlogmas videos. The links to every single one will be in the description down below. So make sure you open that up, girl. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications. Follow me on all my socials that are Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. That is in the outro and also in the description box down below. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Shout out to everybody, I had fun. <laughs>